Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. In past videos, I've mentioned here and there that I use a Wacom tablet. And when I have mentioned that I was using a tablet, people would email me asking me specifically what tablet I use and how I have my tablet set up. So I thought I'd do this short video and I'll show you the tablet I use and I'll explain how I have my tablet set up. Now, to jump right into it, I use a Wacom Intuos Pro Pen touch small tablet. Now to tell you the truth, most professional photographers that do use a tablet use the medium tablet. I prefer the small tablet for two reasons. The first reason is for those of you that may have seen a video where I'm sitting at my desk, my desk is kind of small so the work area of my desk isn't very large and the small tablet just works out better in that regard. The other reason though might sound a little odd. I could use this tablet and I could move the pen from one diagonal corner to the other diagonal corner with just my wrist. And I have used very briefly the medium tablet and with that tablet I really have to move my whole forearm. Now that might sound ridiculous but trust me if you're really processing like a hundred images, two hundred images sometimes, it gets very tiring continually moving your arm in these large sweeping motions and it's my opinion that those of us that are artists that are actually doing art drawing and they're gonna need that larger tablet because it just gives them more resolution they could get finer brush strokes and be a little more precise with their pen most photographers, like me at least, we don't need that type of precision. And the small tablet works out fine. It's cheaper too. Uh, so I didn't use the medium very long, maybe like less than a month. And then I got rid of it and I got the small one instead. So uh, the small one I have is this exact model, the Intuos Pro. And it has six express keys and it has this touch ring. And I'll go over the settings I have for these uh, express keys because you can program them to do whatever you want and that's the question I probably most often get how I have my tablet set up now if you prefer the medium tablet they've changed it since the one I owned uh, they improved it they added two more express keys and I think they did some improvements to the pen so the pressure is a little more precise and the pen supposedly will work a little better um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same work area, so it's the same size. So I can't comment specifically on this current model of the medium tablet because I never owned that one. But it's very similar uh, to the one that I used, which is the one with six express keys. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just bring up the tablet settings, and we'll just go over real quick how, how, how I have mine set up. Now you could set these tablets up so they actually are touch sensitive. So you could do finger gestures right on the tablet and um, you know similar to the way a Mac uh, touch pad might work. I have mine off. So I have touch off on mine. Uh, that's just personal preference. I mean it works okay. I just prefer not to have it. Now as far as my pen I have it set up so the back side of the pen is an eraser just like a regular pen. And then you have two buttons here. The top button I have is a double click. So that's as though I used a mouse and double clicked on something with this button. This bottom button I have is a right click. So it's as though I right clicked on uh, something with the, the stylus or the pen. Now as far as the express keys, I have them set up roughly on how often I might use that specific function. The very top express key I have set up as the option key. So that's as though I pressed option on my Mac keyboard. That would be equivalent to alt on a Windows keyboard. And you know, you're often doing things like you're holding the option key and do this or holding the option key and do that. And that's why I have that key set up as option. The second key down I have set up as command and that's equivalent to Windows as a control key. And you're often holding the command key in. So your command key plus this to do something and that's why I have that set up that way. 
The next one down, I have a step backward. And what that means is like Option Command Z or Alt Control Z on a Windows keyboard. That's so that you could basically undo what you just did. And in Photoshop, often you're, you might go down a rabbit hole and decide you don't like what you did. So you're going to step backward and you're going to continually hit Option Command Z or Alt Control Z to back your way out. Well, instead of hitting those combination of three keys, I'll just hit the single key and continually hit it till I step back where I need to be. Now, the next set of express keys down at the bottom, the top one, which is the fourth key down, is Shift F5, and that is Fill. I'm often using the Fill dialog to do a fill of something. I make a selection, and I want to fill it with black, or I want to fill it with white, or I want to use some type of fill for that. And you can, of course, hit Shift F5 on the keyboard, but it's right on my, now on my tablet. Since I have the tablet in front of me, I just have to hit that key right there. Now, this key here doesn't show that it's programmed, but it is. It's my space bar. It's just programmed simply as the space bar. And often when you're zoomed in on something, let's say you have a brush tool, uh, if you hold the space bar in, the brush will turn into a little hand and you could drag the image around. And instead of reaching up to my keyboard, I could just press that key right there and it will turn the brush into the hand and I could then, of course, just drag the image around. This bottom key is settings and that's actually the settings for the Wacom tablet. So when I press that key, this is what comes up. Now, the scroll wheel uh, I have set up, but to tell you the truth, I don't move much off this light right here. Now you could do four different functions here. You could see these are the four different lights. And to change into the different lights, you press the center of the wheel. So there's auto scroll zoom, zoom, rotate, and then back to brush size. Now the brush size I use the most, and to tell you the truth, we'll just go to Photoshop. And so anything that is a brush, any tool that is a brush, like the clone stamp tool, the brush itself, um, any of the um, spot healing brush tools, anything that's the brush. All I got to do is run my finger. It's touch sensitive. You're not really pressing in or anything. You're just touching the wheel on the outside. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. And I could change the brush size very, very easily by doing that. So that works in both Photoshop and Lightroom. And when I say I run my finger, it's on this part right here. You're just running your finger around this wheel. And I can make the brush size larger by going the, uh, clockwise and smaller by going counterclockwise. And again, that works in both um, Photoshop and Lightroom. Now, the next um, light here, by pressing the center button, is Auto Scroll Zoom. And... I don't use that actually that much. I, I tend to just go up to the keyboard and hit, you know, Command Plus, Command Minus, uh, something like that. But with that one, when I'm in that mode, I could just zoom into the image by running my finger along the, um, the, the, the ring, you know, on the outside. Now, in Lightroom, if you're in that mode, I'm doing it now. You, obviously, it's not working at all. The functionality in Lightroom is a little different. With Lightroom, you when you're zoomed in on an image and then you run in or you run your finger along that ring, you're actually just going to scroll up and down. That's all that does. So it's not really that great. The functionality isn't that um, important in Lightroom, I guess, for that one. Now, the next one down, again, I, I really never use this, is Zoom. And with Zoom... In Lightroom, it will like zoom in all through all these different sizes that are up here from fit, fill, 1 to 1, 1 to 16. Whatever's showing up there is what it's going to zoom. So, you know, it's going to zoom way in or way out. So, you can see it's not, you know, it's just going through these different, um, these different uh, sizes here. Whatever these are, it'll go through all of them. So that is the way that works in Lightroom. Now that third light in Photoshop does the exact same zoom that the second light did. So 
in Photoshop, this light and this light do the same exact thing. Now the last one is rotate and that works the same uh, whether or not you're in Photoshop or Lightroom is it will just rotate your image. I tell you the truth, I never use that either. So um, mainly the express keys I use all the time. Op option command, step backward, and fill. Um, this is this one, the shift F5. I use all the time. The space bar, a lot of times the way my hand is, my hand is usually like right here and my keyboard is right here. I could just touch the space bar up here probably easier than moving my hand all the way down here and hitting this key for the space bar. So I probably don't hit that space bar that much there. So that's the way I have my uh, Wacom tablet set up. Uh, and, and again, mainly the brush size for this. I really don't switch to the other three lights that often, if at all, to tell you the honest to God truth. So that's it. I just wanted to give you an idea of the Wacom tablet I use and why I use that small one specifically and how I have mine set up with as far as the express keys. And those of you that are left-handed, you could set the uh, Wacom tablet up for a left-handed person by just flipping it and there's a setting in the software to change it to left-handed. And so all these buttons be go on the right and all the settings flip-flop and everything. So it works perfectly, um, you know, the same way as if you, you know, you're right-handed if you're left-handed, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. So that's the setting there. I have, will have my affiliate links uh, below this video if you want to check out the tablet. And um, that's it. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I'll talk to you guys soon.